I'm opening 15 Teeny Mate NFL collectibles to build my Madden team. Starting with our first three. I'm very curious to see what they're going to look like, but I don't want to peek early. So we'll open up the first one here. Oh, it's a Bears player. Oh my God, this thing is so dumb. It's so tiny. But it's our quarterback for the team. That's what we love to see. We got Justin Fields, a Bears player, and the future MVP of the NFL. Let's be honest. Our next player inside our next locker is going to be... Ooh, it's a Kansas City Chief. Uh-oh. We've already got a little bit of a position battle here. We just added Patrick Mahomes to the team. Now, if we get duplicate positions, we'll just be able to add a different player from that individual team. But if we get duplicate players in any of these packages, I'll get three wild cards to change them to legend players from that same team but we only get three of them and whatever team we're left with at the end we'll be simming and trying to win a super bowl with them which if i fail to do i'll be giving a jersey away over on my instagram link down in the description so we've already got our first two players i can't believe how tiny these things are man oh man okay this one looks like it's gonna be a rams player number 10 we've got cooper freaking cup one of my favorite receivers we didn't get to see him enough last year in comparison to my head look at how small this thing Thing is you know putting these stickers on these things is like a piece of artwork you got to make sure it's perfect and even and level and look at that man i mean that is literally just perfect i don't know if this is like the equivalent of stuffing a kid into a locker in high school but we get to put justin fields inside his little locker that's insane i love these instead of patrick mahomes on the chiefs i'm worried we're not going to get too many defensive players in this so we're going to go with chris jones who was a dominant force for the chiefs this year i feel like that's a good substitute to have all right cooper cup you found your place inside your locker i think they connect too oh heck yeah they connect like into one little piece that's amazing oh my god it's got a little bench too <laughs> They can sit on the bench and just kind of hang out. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. It's literally a, a Gatorade container. I wonder what color the Gatorade would be. It's just a little Gatorade thing. That's so funny. There's stickers for the back too. Pictures of their jerseys. I love that. We've already got Justin Fields, Patrick Mahomes, who we obviously changed into Chris Jones, and Cooper Cup. But we have opportunities for insane players like Tom Brady, Micah Parsons, and just the best of the NFL. We're trying to build basically a Pro Bowl lineup here so that we have the best chance possible to win our Super Bowl. This video is sponsored sponsored by SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek's the number one rated ticketing app. There's more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including sports, concerts, festivals, and more. My Chicago Cubs are coming to Denver to play the Rockies for baseball season, and I'm definitely using SeatGeek to get my tickets for that. With the NBA and NHL seasons in full swing, you're not going to want to miss out. Plus, artists like Taylor Swift and Ed Sheeran are on tour. They always want to make sure you're getting a good deal, so when you're on the app, make sure to look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And you know I came through for you guys. Make sure you use code KINNY for $20 off your tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code KINNY. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. On to package number two. This will have four, five, and six for us. I love how they just come out in the locker so you don't even have to worry about them falling everywhere. Our first First locker of package number two is going to be a New Orleans Saint. Oh, this looks like a defensive player. And it is. We got number 94, Cam Jordan, the defensive end. Oh, that's huge. We need defensive players. We can't win a Super Bowl with just an offense. Cam Jordan's going to be a crazy addition for our team. Our next locker here is going to contain, oh, different colors again. This time we've got a Titan who's upside down. Number 31. Oh my gosh, this is very unexpected. We got Kevin Byard, another defensive player and a safety. I I was really worried about defense and i'm starting to get worried about offense open this up here oh baby he's a bangle he's a bangle who's this gonna be number one that's what i want to see the perfect compliment to cooper cup we got jamar chase so no duplicates that's perfect that's exactly what i wanted to see i'm gonna be honest jamar chase kind of has to go on his locker sideways i feel like i'm kind of shoving him in there <laughs> but it's okay big boy cam jordan into a locker i don't think it would go over well for you <laughs> and our next three have been a with their little bench in front of them. And we've still got so many more to go. We've got nine players to add to our team. Thank God, because the Super Bowl is not going to be easy. All right, on to seven, eight, and nine. Ooh, two of these lockers are almost connected together. The first one's going to be as we open the door. <gasps> Another team we haven't gotten yet. Love that. It's a Colts player. Ooh, you probably guessed it. Our first running back, Jonathan Taylor. One of the best running backs in the league right now. I will definitely take Taylor. That's awesome. Number eight is going to be another 
another team we haven't gotten yet. We're trying to collect like the whole 32 teams here, but it's going to be our third wide receiver, another absolute stud Buffalo Bill, Stefan Diggs. And our last one of this, we've gotten a lot of blue this round. Two offensive players. Let's see if we get a defensive player now since we got that last time. Okay. He kind of tumbled out of the locker for this poor guy. It's another wide receiver, our fourth one. This is pretty much all the wide receivers we need. A Seattle Seahawk, DK Metcalf. Six foot four DK. I feel like this thing is doing you wrong, but in the locker you go. And Jonathan Taylor, same thing. Ah, sorry, buddy. I didn't mean it. And in you go, Stefan. We've still got six more. We've got a really solid receiving core, really good offense, but um, yeah, I'm just going to say I could use some more defense. I, like, I'm happy with Jordan and Byard, but like, we need more, boys. We definitely need more defense. Our first one is going to be another team we haven't gotten yet, and another position that we haven't gotten yet. We got our first cornerback that we can add Xavier Howard from the Dolphins number 25 yo the, the colors on this are absolutely crazy I love that uni man that's so awesome perfect that was exactly the pick that I was looking for another defensive player with no more wide receivers we're good we're good on wide receivers I promise you that our next pick here is gonna be uh oh it's another chief I'm worried this is gonna be a Mahomes please don't be a Mahomes it it sadly is a Mahomes. But remember, when we get any player duplicates that are the same, we can change them to a legend that's been on that same team. So we need a Chiefs legend that we can add. I literally jinxed us, though. I literally said I don't want a bunch of Mahomes. And then we get our second Mahomes. Oh my gosh, this poor guy. I'm just tossing him around like he's not even a real person. We're going to change him to a former Chiefs tight end, Tony Gonzalez, because I'm worried we're not going to get a tight end. It's just been like all receivers and a, a few defensive positions. We need a tight end. Fields loves throwing to his tight end. So that's a position we for sure need. So in you go, Mahomes slash Tony Gonzalez. And we've got our 12th out of 15 here. We still got three left even after this. This is four. Come on, baby. Give me something. Another Bills player. Please don't be Diggs. Please don't be Diggs. Please don't be Diggs. Please don't be Diggs. No, it's Stefan Diggs yet again, but we have two wild cards left, meaning we can take another legendary player this time from the Buffalo Bills to add to Cam Jordan and Chris Jones. I feel like we could go with Bruce Smith. I mean, just one of the greatest defensive ends of all time and a Buffalo Bills stud. So that's who we're going to go with. Bruce Smith. Sorry, Stefan. I'd love to have two of you if I could, buddy. Our last package here. We've got a ton of positions. We still need like any offensive lineman. We need some more cornerbacks. Safe. We've gotten no linebackers. Can I get a Micah Parsons, please? I mean, his his name is literally on the package like that. That is the one we need. We need a Micah Parsons. Come on, boys. Open this sucker up. I'm praying. I'm, I'm legitimately praying to the teeny mates lockers NFL gods right now. Please give me a Micah Parsons. That's what I want to see come out of this. I see purple. Oh, 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 okay. Another running back to help Jonathan Taylor out. We got Dalvin Cook from the Minnesota Vikings. Hey, that's another team we haven't gotten yet. I'll take that. And our second one. Come on, more colors that I haven't seen. Please, that would be great. Another one. Broncos? No. We don't need another quarterback. We got Russell Wilson. Mr. Unlimited. Dude, those Broncos colors are so sick, though. Maybe I'm partial because they're also the Bears colors. But as far as Broncos go, we definitely need another cornerback. Let's add Patrick Sertain from the Denver Broncos. The dude is just an absolute stud. I can't imagine picking anyone else. And our last TD mate. Come on, Micah Parsons. I really want Micah. He's so good in Madden. He would help our team so much. We have no linebackers. This one's going to be... What is this? Okay, this appears to be a TD mate wild card. Almost like a Joker card. I'm going to say this is a total wild card. We can add anyone. And I've been talking about it the whole video. We've got to add Micah Parsons. I'm giving us the Cowboys player. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it because we got a teeny mates wild card and I didn't even know these things existed. Okay. They consider this a camouflage. So yeah, uh, wild card. And we are the Pittsburgh Steelers because I figured they've got a legendary team history. Might as well try to make them legendary again. This team is absolutely insane at an 89 overall. Look at all the red from the X factors and the superstars that we have. Our wide receiver core is just absolutely nuts. And everyone says Justin Fields isn't that good regardless of who he has with the talent around him. So this will be a good test to see if Fields will be a lot better with better receivers around him. And defensively, I mean, it's just disgusting. Our defensive line is nasty. I'm a little worried about our linebackers because any position that we didn't fill, we're just sticking with the Steelers default players since that's the roster that we're using. We're lucky enough to have TJ Watt still and Micah Parsons, which is just absolutely nasty. I think we 
should win the Super Bowl, but with Madden, I mean, you never really do know. But our defense is a 93 overall. And it's our offense, I guess, that's really going to struggle despite those wide receivers because the Steelers do have an offensive line problem. I think we all know that. Let's go ahead and sim to the playoffs to see how our team does. Looks like Justin Fields threw for 4,100 yards and 29 passing touchdowns. So with a good cast around him, he's kind of a stud. Dalvin Cook rushed for 1,200 Seems that he was our main running back. And Cooper Cup, 1,100 receiving yards and 11 touchdowns. Crazy stats. We had the best ranked defense in the NFL, only giving up 5,600 yards. And our offense was all the way down at number 22. Not what you want to see. So we're being carried by our defense to no one's surprise. But we went 12 and 5, which is a pretty good record, securing ourselves first place in the AFC and a bye during the wild card. Let's get to our divisional game. Looks like the Chargers beat the Dolphins. Dolphins 45 to 17. So we'll be taking on the seventh seed Chargers in our divisional matchup. And remember, I have to give away a jersey on my Instagram if we don't win the Super Bowl. So this is win or go home set to the extreme. Let's go ahead and sim this here and just pray that we get a win over the Chargers. And we didn't. We freaking lost in the divisional game to the Chargers. Are you kidding me? Well, all right, I'm going to give away a jersey over on my Instagram. That starts as soon as this video goes live. Make sure you guys click the link in the description of my Instagram. Head over there. Give me a follow. We're trying to get to 1,000. And check out my Instagram story to see the details of the giveaway. And if you like this, I had a video where I used tiny football flags to build my team. Go check that out right here.